Hello and welcome to another daily vlog of permanent ankle shackles. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I'm a filmmaker who's going to be writing a movie about a prisoner who is kept barefoot and permanently shackled and locked in a prison cell. Um, I wanted to uh, experience this myself to some degree. I'm not locked in a prison cell, um, but I am barefoot and shackled permanently. These shackles have been locked on with um, rivets and the tools required to remove them have been removed from the property, so I cannot remove them. And as you can see on the left sole of my foot, this is the 16th day of permanent ankle shackles and 16 straight days. Uh, technically, uh, about 14 more days, two weeks, uh, is going to reach my minimum goal of 30 days. Um, but I'd like to take this all the way to 90 days if I can. So as you can see, no bare ankles today. Um, I've been wearing these shackles on bare ankles for the past three or four days. I lose track of time. Um, just straight bare ankles all day long. Um, and that's been working out. I mean, they're not comfortable, but uh, they haven't been really hurting me that much. So I've been going with it. Uh, just I take the pads off in the morning when I get out of bed, and they stay off until I go to bed the night, the, the later night. Um, I've been wearing the... Uh, the quad ankle pads, so uh, one below the shackle and one above the shackle on both ankles uh, while I'm sleeping at night to add uh, support for when I'm laying on my side so the shackles aren't pushing into the side of my ankle all night long, um, which was a problem in the beginning, um, but bare ankles all day long. But as you can see, I have a whole new configuration today. Um, and this is kind of a an prison uniform that I'm planning on uh, implementing in the movie. Um, of course, I'm, I'm just still testing it, so I still want to, I'm kind of filling it out at this point. So basically, um, brand new ankle cuffs. These are neoprene ankle cuffs with some pretty heavy duty uh, Velcro straps uh, for to support the, sh the weight of the shackles um, around my ankles. So um, I think these work really well. They're a little taller than I thought they would be. Um, but they look nice and they and they really support the shackle really well and they're adjustable unlike my previous ankle pads which were way too um, way too tight around my ankles and were actually causing uh, circulation problems which caused my feet to get a little um, swollen um, these are adjustable so that's not going to happen um, in addition I'm looking at these um, cotton leggings uh, the gray cotton leggings that I have they're very thin and light um, I'm thinking about using them uh, as a um, as a uh, unisex uniform in the prison. Men and women will wear them. And then additionally, uh, I have a long sleeve gray t-shirt. Well, not t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt. And on top of that, I have a uh, long t-shirt. Um, it's a I, I mentioned this before. This is what I, these are the kind of shirts that I use when I'm uh, taking a shower and stuff because they hang down. It's like a regular T-shirt, but it hangs down to my knees. Um, it's very long. Um, I'm wearing that. Uh, the new ones I got to go with these this gray uh, outfit is uh, is a uh, light beige, and um, so kind of I'm kind of working this into possibly being the uniform that the prisoner will actually wear in the movie. Now this movie isn't. Uh, it's it's the prison that he's kept in is a uh, very high tech prison. Uh, it's very it's very futuristic. It's very modernized. So going with a more modern, um, unique prison uh, uniform is kind of what I'm going for. Um, not the, the the standard prison uniform you'd see in a prison today. I just want to go with something more uh, interesting and different. Uh, I don't know. I'm still working on it. I just want to see how this one works out. Uh, we'll probably be wearing this um, for a little while. I'm not sure if we'll be wearing these ankle pads all day long. I'll probably go back to bare ankles. Um, but I like the way these shackles ride on the um, the leggings. They t twist a lot easier. You know, they're not um, rubbing against my bare ankles. And there's a lot more... Uh, they, they, they move more freely around my ankles when I'm walking. And... Um, that's that's kind of nice um so i might take the ankle pads off and just keep the leggings um during the the day regularly and in the movie i'm gonna have periods where the ankle pads are taken away from the prisoner as punishment and you'll have to wear them around bare ankles for a period of time um but on that point i uh 
got drunk last night and I was probably a little rougher than I normally would be uh, with the shackles on my ankles, um, bare ankles. I was wearing my bare ankles all night. And I woke up with some pretty heavy duty, deep, dark red marks along the fronts of my ankles. Um, they're definitely going to be bruises um, after that. Um, so I, I'm gonna take a little easy. Remember, I, I have to wear these. They're, they can't, they, I can't remove them. So if I injure my ankles to the point where it's painful to wear them, then it's gonna be a problem because I can't take them off. Uh, even even if they hurt so um, I'm just gonna kind of take it easy over the next few days I'll probably be wearing these ankle pads um, off and on um, probably not all day long but I'm gonna you know give my ankles a little bit of a rest throughout the day every once in a while uh, because my ankles are pretty beat up at this point at least they actually look the part now um, before it was weird because it was like I've been wearing these for 16 days or, or prior to yesterday 15 days and there really wasn't that much marking around my ankles I mean you'd think wearing heavy steel shackles 24 7 working in them uh, sleeping in them showering in them just every second of every day wearing them walking uh, all that um, you would have like bruises or you know red marks I mean I was getting red marks on the backs of my ankles uh, wearing them um, without ankle pads and also I'd get red marks around my ankles um, when I was using the pads where the sh shackle rubbed against my ankles in the same spot uh, for a period of time but those marks disappeared in, in a matter of hours I mean there weren't anything permanent uh, up until last night when I I, I, you know, my, my pain threshold was higher, so I didn't realize that I was hurting my ankles. Um, there's definitely deep red marks now that are going to turn into bruises. Um, I was going to show them, but eh, I decided not to. I'm sticking with my, my platform, you know, soles of my feet, and that's it. <laughs> and also, I wanted to show off these uh, these ankle pads, these ankle cuffs, and the, uh, the uh, leggings. So anyway, um, that's what's been going on so far. Um, 16th day, um, they're staying on. <laughs> they're gonna be on for at least two more weeks, a minimum of two more weeks. Um, I'll just have to see how I feel about them in two weeks, uh, decide whether I'm gonna take them off or try to go for the 90. Um, but in any case, um, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, comment below, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. 17th day tomorrow.